Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer studio head Louis B. Mayer in 1948, and Judy Garland on the set of The Harvey Girls, in Los Angeles in 1945. AP Photophile Although the epidemic of rampant UAL assaults and harassment in Hollywood has only begun to make impactful headlines in the past month, is an issue that's plagued the industry for decades. Going as far back as the big studio days, iconic actresses such as Marilyn Monroe, Joan Collins and Shirley Temple all claimed to be victims, and that's just to name a few. Many of their stories only came to light thanks their respective memoirs over the years. But when it comes to Judy Garland, there was no memoir, at least, not one that was ever published. The legendary actress had been working away at one for Random House, as discovered by biographer Gerald Clark two decades ago, reports The Washington Post. In the incomplete 68 pages he found, Clark discovered that Garland had also been a victim of assault, at the hands of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer studio head and co-founder Louis B. Mayer, practically a Hollywood founding father. In his 2009 biography Get Happy the Life of Judy Garland, Clark wrote about how expecting from the female help was considered an unspoken perk of power for Mayer. Clark wrote between the ages of 16 and 20, Judy herself was to be approached for, and approached again and again. Don't think they all didn't try, she said. Top on the list was Mayer himself. Whenever he complimented her on her voice, she sang from the heart, he said, Mayer would invariably place his hand on her left breast to show just where her heart was. I often thought I was lucky, observed Judy, that I didn't sing with another part of my anatomy. That scenario, a compliment followed by a grope, was repeated many times until, grown up at last, Judy put a stop to it. Mr. Mayer, don't you ever, ever do that again, she finally had the courage to say. I just will not stand for it. In response, Mayer cried, asking Garland how she could reject him when he claimed to love her. In her unpublished memoir, Garland wrote, It's amazing how these big men, who had been around so many sophisticated women all their lives, could act like idiots, much like Harvey Weinstein, the big wig producer who has now been accused of assault and harassment by over 60 women. Mayer was used to getting what he wanted as were other executives, one of whom Garland recalled telling her that, if she did not sleep with him, I'll ruin you and I can do it. I'll break you if it's the last thing I do, it's the same threat of which many actresses have since accused not only Weinstein, but director James Chubach, who is now facing over 200 allegations. Garland died at only 47 in 1969 from an accidental drug overdose. An adaptation of Clark's biography has been in the works for many years, with Anne Hathaway last set to star. Long since scrapped, it was announced just weeks ago that Renee Zellweger is currently attached to star as Garland in a biopic titled Judy, which will follow the actress during her final concerts in London in 1968.